Welcome back, everybody. This is uh, day two of the 12 Days of Christmas from AQW Selected. And today we're going to be doing Arkham Grove. Uh, I hope you guys can bear with me on Arkham Grove. Arkham Grove is my least favorite because it's probably the one that requires the most patience. Uh, mainly because there's, what is it, like four, three or four puzzles that you have to do. And it's it's really, it's not hard to do. It's just that it takes a lot of patience. So let's go ahead and begin. So we're going to go ahead and go to story. And we're gonna go straight to Arkham Grove. Um, when you get to Arkham Grove, first off, you want to talk to Rast, and he'll you go. Where should I go? And uh, now that you have one as Arkham Grove uh, plot, I have a small favor to ask you. Very top of Tower Magic System Observatory. Blah blah blah. Observing the uh, observatory. Take this quest. Go ahead and go back up. And run up here. So now that you uh, were confronted by Ledgermain, I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Uh, you're going to go ahead and run down. Go back to Raced, Rast, whatever you prefer. Um, turn in that quest. Talk to... Uh, now he's going to ask you to go to Iwa, the Tree Keeper. And uh, all you have to do is run to the left get past this rock, sorry. Um, run to the left, and go to the cloister. Is it cloister? Is it cloist? It's probably cloister. I'm probably saying it long, wrong because it's cloist, but it's probably cloister. Cloister or something like that. Go ahead and take her first quest, uh, Bare Necessities of Life Root. Okay, so, with the life fruit, uh, she wants you to uh, go get the life fruit. I think it's, bear with me, because this is, it's a walkthrough, but it's also me remembering. It's, it's more of a walkthrough for me, really. I mean, sometimes it's hard to remember where the half of the stuff is. This will be a lot longer than the Mifsan video. But, I do plan on completing each story. Uh, each story a day. I don't want to uh, expand it past that. Because that'd be ridiculous. Uh, life root. Actually, it's up here, I'm pretty sure. You go to the left. Right here. Um, and then, you just go back down, of course. to turn that in. Uh, a corny quest. So, you're going to have to kill uh, a cornets, and I I can't really show you guys the entire fight stuff, because a cornets are, they, they don't drop their stuff right away, so you're going to just have to pause the video with me and get your 10 a cornets to continue with me. So, uh, I'll see you guys then. And we're back. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go turn these in. Okay, so... If you guys haven't noticed, this, uh, this reputation specifically likes to spoil you. I don't recommend using rep boosts, mainly because it's really not hard to get, and the payoff at the end, it's just... Shaman's good, but there's a lot... There's, there's way better classes now. But, uh, the Karasu, so... This is going to be another pause. Uh, we're going to have to kill these guys. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So uh, now that you've killed the Carosos, you're going to go ahead and go back down. Simple enough. Uh, turn that in. 
It's about time. It's about time, whatever. Mana potion. So, defeating Crystal and Ekronets have helped restore the balance, but now we must aid uh, the, the, the truth of their support and blah, 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 blah. Uh, mana potion from Reigns. Uh, okay. So, real quick. There's uh, three supporting themes in this thing. Uh, you're going to go ahead and get this one right here. Oh, wait. Okay, so. Sorry about that. Go ahead and join Arden Grove. And run in here. Run down here. Talk to Reigns. Or Reigns. I really don't know how she says it. I don't really give a fuck. Um, go to shop. And buy three mana potions, I think. I think you need three to do it. But I think go ahead and go back to Cloyster. click that one. I can't remember if there's another one down here. I'm pretty sure there's not. Well, guess what? I was wrong. Okay, so we got two, and I was wrong about the mana potions. You only need one, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, they might come in handy later. And then we're going to go ahead and go down this way, I think. Just bear with me here. I'm as lost as you are. Okay, so that's the boss. We're not gonna we're not gonna deal with him yet. Hmm. Okay, and then we'll be going back to uh, Iwa. And uh, now that we're back there, we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn this in. Just to warn you, the Wendigo is a kind of a powerhouse when it comes to an enemy. Uh, if you're like 65 and you're watching these and you're just like, ah, that's not that's not a powerful thing. Maybe not, but uh, when you're level 36, a Wendigo could tear your ass apart. Um, so we're going to go ahead and be smart about this. Keep our guard up. Some Destiny. Destiny is a really nice to have when you're using Artifact Hunter, especially when you're fighting against something that you don't know if you can beat. Doom is what you really want because then you can power through it. But the problem is, is that it doesn't want to drop it every time, so it's really hard to tell. Uh. We're still not done, so we're going to pause the video, and uh, when I beat him, I'll see you guys back at Iwa. Okay, so when you actually beat the Wendigo, and you actually get what you're looking for, you don't get put back to Iwa. It turned, that was the cutscene that you guys watched is the cutscene you're supposed to see after you get the drop, but for some reason it showed it to me before, but uh, we finished that part, so we're going to go ahead and go back to Arkham Grove, and we're going to talk to Raced, and... Uh, Go ahead and click where I should I go. He actually tells you where to go. More. More. Quest. Uh, find Patty Lump. So. Now you're going to go to Mudluck. And you have a few choices. Like, you can just go off the map if you want. <laughs> or you can, uh, excuse me, I had a hiccup and I don't know why. Or you can just go down this way. Which is pretty much, I don't know, it's, it really doesn't make a difference which way you go. But you're going to go ahead and go into this room. Toothy Smiles. So, Swamp Lurker Tooth. And uh, this is fairly easy. You're just going to kill these guys right here. And I will see you guys when I'm done. Okay. So, uh, now that we uh, completed that part, we're going to go ahead and uh, turn that in. Slimy... Uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Slimy Cyrus. Next thing you need to do is uh, blah blah blah. Slimy Cyrus. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. 
Uh, you can get these from pretty much any swap monster. So we're going to go ahead and start in swamp workers. So I'll see you guys when I get all five. Okay, so we finished Slimy Cyrus. We're going to go ahead and turn that in. As usual. Lord of the Fleas. So next, uh, my look, blah, blah, blah. Gorillafence. So we're going to go kill Gorillafence in Arkengrove. Okay, so it's not... Okay, there we go. I hate... I hate AQ World sometimes because sometimes it doesn't want to load. Uh, so we're just going to head and uh, run down here and uh, grow the fence right here. So go ahead and kill 12 of these and we'll see you then. Alright, so we killed all the gorilla fence. <laughs> we got a good 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 gorilla for so good 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 gorilla for so. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn this in. Not the best idea. Swine Frog Drake. So... Uh, I actually, I think, if my memory is correct, the best place is, um, actually, right here. So, yeah, we'll just go ahead and kill some frog drakes, and when we're done, we'll see you then. Okay, so, we got all the frog drakes slain, and we're going to go ahead and uh, turn that in. So, now for the Gates and Guardians quest. This might actually take you a while, and it might take me a while, so, what's, uh, Let's figure this puzzle out together. Okay, so there are eight. There's actually eight combinations uh, that you can use. It's a three crystal combination, and uh, there's eight of them that you can use. Uh, for this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and do eight, ten, eleven. So first off, we're going to hit eight. Okay, so the one I just clicked, don't click. Uh, the reason why I clicked it is because it looked just like the one I was looking for, but it's not. This is eight, okay? Uh, it's really not explanatory, but bear with me here, okay? The room that has two swamp workers, okay? And the rocks right here and this right here. Quick eight. Uh, now we're going to go run and hit uh, ten, if I can remember where it's at. Just go to the right. Nope. <laughs> um, don't worry, I'm not going to get you guys too lost. we're getting closer. Uh, here's 10. And uh, here's 11. And now I think we should be able to get to the gate without any problem. If not, I apologize. Yep. And uh, we're going to go ahead and click that. If uh, the if my my gate walkthrough wasn't, uh, wasn't like good enough or you guys couldn't understand it, I will... Uh, I will link a, uh, I'll link the wiki page for you, or I'll just put all the combinations in the description for you, just so you guys know. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and go in here and uh, Tracy. I could have just gone to Tracy, but see, I, it's not really good to go just to go some to someone in a walkthrough because then you guys don't understand, and then I feel bad because I didn't really explain it to you. So go ahead and kill this tiger leech. Right, and uh, I should mention that the puzzles, um, they don't get they don't get harder. The only one that really people get stuck on is the Notorium one, but that's the Notorium one's pretty easy. It's just a matter of knowing what to do and how like how to do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to map. I'll show you guys how to get to Arkham Grove real quick. Go ahead and go to Arkham Grove, Tower of Magic. Um, where should I go? Go ahead and do quests. Go back to your map. Hit Arkham Grove again, and go to Notorium. Okay. Wait for her to turn that quest in. Okay, and then accept this next quest. Uh, dive right in. Corrupted Coral. 
Uh, these just appear on the map, I'm pretty sure. No. Go ahead and hit the third one right here. Fourth. Level is she? Uh, I was like, why does she have that scythe? I couldn't tell. Uh, five. Six. Seven. Eight. be up here. 11. But where's my 12th, though? That's my question. You at number 12. Must have missed something. Okay, got all of them in here. Uh, I got everything in here. Got everything in here. Oh, this one right here, he's, a, he's a hiding. It's funny. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go turn this back in. Notorium is probably going to be your least favorite spot in this entire uh, story, but it's okay. Uh, we'll get through it together. So we're going to go ahead and turn dive right in. Uh, seafood diet. So, angler fillets. These guys do not like to drop very often, so... Luckily for you, uh, you don't have to watch me kill 20. So I'll see you guys after I kill 20. So, now that we uh, finished uh, the seafood diet, we're going to go ahead and turn that in. Uh, mercenaries. So, rescued merfolk? Okay. I'm not sure. I probably didn't read the quest, so let's go ahead and read the quest. Here you must... Oh. Okay, so we just have to kill uh, Mercaconian, so see you guys then. Alrighty, another quest done. Let's see here. Synchronized slain. So, this is where things get fun. So, we have to get uh, five brain crows from Gurlifants and seed spitters. Got to rope the trout to the cloister and bring four staghorns and acronets. Uh, from the acronyms, excuse me. Three seeds of hands from the Caruso and one sea whip from the dreaded Wendigo. So, this is pretty much simple, really simple work. So, we're going to go to Ark and Grove first. And I will see you guys after I get done with my gorilla fence. And then I will show you guys when I go to Cloyster. Sound good? Good. To the cloister we go. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the cloister. Cloister. Eh. Well, you guys know the drill. My name's Ronald Reagan. See you guys after. So it seems that uh, there was one step that I missed, and we just have to go to Mudluck and kill some swamp creatures. So. You guys know the drill. I'll see you uh, after I get done back at uh, Natorium. Okay, so we got synchronized slaying done. The deep end. Now here is the fun part. Um, we're gonna start in this puzzle over here. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, I think we go. We hit this one. And then we hit this one right here. And then we hit this one. And uh, there's the first puzzle. Now we're going to run over to the right. And we're going to do the next puzzle, which really irritates people. And you'll see why, because it might take me a few tries. 
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit this bottom one first. And then you're going to hit this middle one. Uh, the trick to this is, first off, we need to restart real quick. But first let's get this over here. So you're going to go ahead. You don't even have to hit the bottom one first, but you start off in the middle. And then you hit this one right here. Just a little error in... Uh, Okay, so now we have it in the place we want it to be. Uh, sorry that I, I kind of messed up a little bit on the first few tries. Uh, I mainly messed up because it's it's a little difficult to do when you're using a trackpad, which is a built-in computer mouse. So you just go ahead and quick. See, you're going to quick this at the right time. So you're going to go ahead and hit that, and then you're done. Uh, so I'm doing this with a trackpad, so if I mess up a few times, I'm sorry. It's just, when you have a trackpad, you're using a finger and you don't have as much movement. So it's a little harder. But, uh, here's the hardest puzzle. Okay, if memory serves me correctly, uh, you're gonna hit this one first. And then you're gonna want to hit this guy, this, uh, this one right here. But I'm trying not to mess up. So you have to run, hit this guy, uh... It's a little hard to do. Let me make sure I'm doing this correctly here real quick. Okay. I mean, technically, it really doesn't matter how you do it. It's just you need to do it correctly. But, uh, let's see here. Go ahead and hit this one, and then hit that, and then go over here. You actually want to hit this one. Don't hit this one, okay? Sorry. Forgive me for that. Uh, okay. Now I remember how to do it. So you want to hit this. Hit that one first. And then hit that. Hit that one. And then you want to run over here. Nope. Shit. Okay. Forgive me. Uh, let's hold on. I did say that this might take me a while. Okay, hit this one, then hit this one, and then run over, and then hit this. And there you go. Uh, sorry about that. I usually try not to make so many errors, but I just can't help it. That's my least favorite one. I know some people that can finish it really quick. Uh, Nessie is one of the strongest bosses in the tor in the Ark and Grove arc, so you want to kill Nessie as fast as possible. There's Nessie. Boom. Dead. Mm -hmm. Go away, Nessie. Bye, Nessie. I'll miss you. <laughs> that went smooth. Uh, again, I apologize for the error. I, I probably won't have as much error later on because the rest of the story is not hard. So you're going to go ahead and go back to Arkham Grove. Actually, we only have yeah, we only have like three more things to do. Well, four or five, actually, if you count through the endings. Uh, where should I go? Quest find Umbra, the Master Shaman. Sounds like a Thundercats villain. The Root of Elementals. So, uh, Dregs, Essence, and Splitter Spirit. Earth Elementals, and uh, Seed Spiders. So, real quick, I'll show you guys basically where the Earth Elementals are, just to speed this up real quick for you. Uh, you can just kill this guy four times and you'll be good to go. Five times, excuse me. So I'll see you guys then. Now to kill the seed spitters. See you guys in a bit. Next on the list. Okay, let's go ahead and kill this quest. Yay! So, let's see. Water elementals. Water elementals are on this map, and then you kill the the 
merge conings. For now on, I'm not going to be cutting back and forth throughout the scenes. I feel like it's unnecessary and it's taking it more time than it needs to. So, I will see you guys after I beat this quest, and I'll see you back at the Shaman. So, yeah. Okay, so we completed that quest. I'm going to turn that in. Breaking Wind Elements. So, we're going to go ahead and kill uh, Wind Elements, and then we're going to kill Corrosals back at uh, Cloyster, and I will see you guys afterwards. Another quest done. Mm-hmm. If it will turn in. Come on. Turn in. See you guys in a sec, I guess. Well, lag is always fun. So, uh... Fire Salamanders uh, from the Swamp Frog Drakes, which is kind of a weird thing. And Pyre Essence. So... Five fire elementals and five uh, swamp drakes. So, see you guys then. So, we finished that quest. Oh boy. Uh, Guardians of the Gilead Wrap. Okay, so, here's another puzzle for you guys. Which is pretty easy if you know how to do it, actually. Uh, you just go into this room. Fuck. Uh, go into this room. And I'm pretty sure you go up here click on this gate. Okay, it's going to show you a pattern. Uh, and when it comes to the pattern, it's fairly easy to uh, do. So basically, uh, what I like to do when I get this pattern, I'm, I'm opening up what I'm trying to do right now. Uh, show the pattern. So they're going to show you a pattern. So red, orange, red, 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 green. So now, all you have to do is do that backwards. So, you just go, you go find green first. Well, don't follow my thing, just do it backwards. Your code, write it down, and do that backwards. And that's basically how you do it. So, you go green, then you're going to run up here. Oh, excuse me, sorry about that, guys. You're not going to run up there. You run right here, you're going to hit red, red, red. Then you're gonna run back up here, hit orange, run down, hit red. Okay, it's been unlocked. So you're cold, just do it backwards. And then you can fight the mana elemental. Which is actually pretty easy because there's so many botters that play on this server map and everything. Uh, I mean, I'm unfortunately on a, a low player server so there's not many bots on this server but if you're on Artix uh, there's so many botters that you can you can take advantage of it and go in there and kill them real quick so yeah Okay, so now, next on the list is, um, I think, Tower of Magic. Where should I go? Okay, you go to, uh, Mount Mafic. Mafic, 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 whatever. Accept quest, uh, liquid hot magam maggots. So you're gonna go ahead and accept this quest, and you're gonna run down and uh, just kill these guys, the volcanic maggots. So see you guys after I'm done. Okay, so we got the first quest done. Go ahead and turn this in real quick. Next quest, scorch serpents. So all you have to do is kill these guys. See you guys in a bit. Okay, now we got that done. Turn that in real quick. Uh, playing with living fire. We're going to kill 10 living fire guys. Uh, you guys know the drill. Okay, so we finished this. Going to go ahead and turn that in real quick. 
Kundrin relationship. Uh, most people are actually confused about this quest, but it's really easy. Okay, so the the goal of this is to kill the dragon, uh, but there's a there's a bridge and there's a puzzle, and right now they're all up, so you can't cross the bridge. Okay, so you just go ahead and go into this screen right here, hit the green orb, then hit the blue orb, and then you're gonna look back at your orb thing. There's two down. And then you want to come over here to screen 3, and then uh, you want to hit the blue orb, then the green orb. Then you want to run in back and look at your gate thing again. Oh, look at that. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and run down. Run down again. Yeah, dot. This side of the map, you don't... I, I don't know, I don't get the point of all this, uh, like, all those enemies there, because most people don't actually even go that far until they have to kill the dragon. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit this. And there you go, and there's the dragon. Uh, 20k health boss might, uh, might beat us if we're not smart, but we should be able to take it. I recommend that you have a higher level friend help you if you don't have the class I have. It will really save you some time and a lot of uh, uh, frustration. Come on. There we go. Let's go ahead and go down low real quick just to improve my performance here. Hit 6. Told you those mana potions would come in handy. Right, you're gonna die. Can't complain about a destiny. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. The dragon is dead. I really don't care about cutscenes. So we're going to go ahead and go back to Tower of Magic. Talk to Race again. Actually, great, here you've completed this blah 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 blah. So you're going to go ahead and run up here. I don't mean to say blah 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 so much, it's just something I like to say for some reason. And run in here. Okay. So, a lot of you may know this map, if you're experienced, you would know that this is where a lot of people farm uh, no gap items. Uh, so, obey your thirst for adventure. Captured mana imps. We're going to go ahead and run up. And uh, I'm going to kill these guys, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay. Uh, we're going to turn this in. Captain Falcons. And, uh, yeah, now we're going to kill mana, mana falcons, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Captain Falcons has been completed. Big, bad, and baddest bosses. So, <laughs> we're in for a treat now. Uh, we're going to have to kill every single boss that has been in our way. So, first off, we're going to go kill the Wendigo. Uh, you guys know the drill. I'm not going to record all that, sorry. Alright, we got the big, bad and baddest boss is done. So I had a tongue twister there. Uh, the Great Mana Golem. You're going to find that a lot of people bought on this map as well. Uh, so you can go to someone or you can just simply 
run up. Uh, there is, I don't think there's, yeah, there's nothing here. Uh, you just have to beat all the quests. Um, I don't mean to be one of those guys that just skip through cutscenes without reading them. I, I just have a, I just have a deadline here, and I want to be able to finish this for you guys. I don't want to have to uh, sit here and, you know, you know. Look at that. Yay! All right. So, the last part is the fun part. We're going to go to my house real quick. We have to fight Chaos, uh, Chaos Lord uh, Legerman, and I don't think I can do it alone. So, we're going to go ahead and do a real quick server hop here. Accept this quest again, real quick, because if you're lucky, you might run in and see someone already killing him. And that's always the best part. I'm gonna go ahead and run in here. Uh, okay. Let's see here. So the best thing to do is to put on a Corrupted Unlock, or a Shadow Corruptor, whichever one you happen to have. And you want to run up to him. You want to fight him. And then you want to get over to this circle, as quickly as possible. Keep your uh, shield up. Stay away from the platform one platform because it can get you. Uh, you'll find that most of the time it, this map is very laggy and it's it can keep you off edge if you're not careful. But for the most part, oh shit, it's not too bad. I mean, it's helpful to have one guy help me. There you go. We'll pick those up. <sighs> that was a close one, guys. But we did it. We did be Arkham Grove, didn't we? Come on. That's right, Jacob. You kick his ass. Basically, the reason why Dreykov betrayed his castle is because the castle himself became so advanced that he he became out of Dracoff's control. Oh my god. You're supposed to be glad that you beat a boss. 
but nothing glad about that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, open our Book of Lore. Park and Grove is done. Go to uh, Badges, go to Achievements, uh, go ahead and scroll over. Uh, where's that? We did beat Arkham Grove, uh, but it, it just doesn't show this because I haven't relogged yet. But you get the Arcana Invoker, Invoker Mask, Invoker Book Cape, Invoker Staff, and Invoker Book Mace, whatever that may be. Uh, let's see what we got. We got these. Those are cool for like members, but since we're not members, we can't use them. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. Again, happy uh, second day of Christmas. Uh, this is Derek from AQW Selected, and this was a long ass video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, uh, make sure to subscribe and make sure to tune in for the third through uh, twelfth day as well, because at the end the winner will be selected. Uh, so make sure to do that. Uh, there will be a separate video for the people that want to win it. It will come out. It'll probably come out the sixth day, and then it'll give people six days to comment and stuff, and they just have to comment. But I'll explain that on the video, and whoever, uh, I'll just pick a random comment, and whoever wins, they'll get a message from me, and uh, they'll win this account at the end of the Let's Play. So, hope you guys enjoy. Make